Then we have dropout regularization. What we do here is in every training step, each neuron has a probability P of being inactive. And that is called the dropout rate. It is something, again, we need to determine before we start tra training the uh, network. Basically what happens is, let's say we have this network, we have two hidden layers and we have four neurons each. If we say every neuron has a one fourth of chance of being inactive in a given step, then you might get, you know, one neuron missing from here, the first one and the second one. Again, some neurons missing from the first and the second. You might have more, less than one fourth of all the neurons missing or more than one fourth of all the neurons missing, of course. But on average, you're always going to have one fourth of neurons missing on your, while you're using dropout regularization during training time. 